Welcome back guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ariel for all new subscribers. Welcome. I do fashion lifestyle content. If you enjoy content like this, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, drop me some comments at the end of this video, letting me know what you thought of the content. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all weekly drops. I try to do at least two videos a week and stay alert and updated with all my content. Definitely hit that notification bell. Last week we talked a little bit about the new Rick Owens Turbo X Converse Chuck 70. It was last week, probably two weeks ago. I'm always all over the place. But anyways, in a previous vlog, we talked a little bit about some of the fashion we shows and a pair of Rick Owens Converse collaboration sneakers that are supposed to drop that you guys know that I'm definitely gonna pick up. While I was out at the Poconos last weekend, I got an alert on my phone letting me know of another collab that I guess I was sleeping under a rock for. Um, between Carhartt Whip and Converse. Some of you guys know that I really love some of the pieces from Carhartt Whip, as well as I'm a big lover of Converse and the Chuck 70, as you guys have probably seen. I wear a lot of Chuck 70s in most of my vlogs. They were a big part of probably back-to-back -back summer essentials, just because it's such a versatile sneaker and such a high quality sneaker in the Chuck 70 version. I just feel like it's very premium and you definitely get your money's worth out of that Converse opposed to some of the standard versions of Converse that are made. It's gonna move the camera back a little bit. So while I was in the Poconos, I got the alert that these dropped and I was ecstatic that I jumped and ordered both of them in my size at the time that I did because they instantly sold out. I believe there might be some smaller sizes still available, but I picked up both this pair and this pair. Thumbnail action right there. This collab is between, like stated, Carhartt Whip and Converse. You guys also know that I'm not a huge sneakerhead these days, but with certain sneakers that I feel are very versatile and that would fit perfectly into my wardrobe of very minimal but very high quality pieces, I felt like these Converse Chuck 70s like excellently just kind of slid into my realm. Sometimes with collaborations, like not every piece is dope, but these honestly with this drop between the two of them, this was such a clean, solid collab that I just had to get both pairs. This pair first, so I'm gonna crack this open for you guys so you guys can see them. Now I did wear this pair already just because I was super, super hyped to get them. This is gonna be the first pair, Carhartt Whip Converse Chuck 70 collab in the camo. Now, I guess this is Carhartt's classic camo duck twill that they do. Maybe the canvas is a little bit, I think it is a little bit slightly thicker than my canvas on my normal Chuck 70s, but some of the details include this Carhartt whip patch. I'm gonna like this so you guys can see it. It's like the classic Carhartt logo. Also says Carhartt whip. You guys can see it like that on the inside. Then what they did here was they did the same way the Carhartt logo shows over here. They just matched the colorways opposed to the normal Converse logo, which I think the star is red on, if I'm not mistaken. So they just kind of matched the burgundy uh, yellowish gold on that. And then this like, I don't know if that's like a silver or a, I guess it's like a silverish white. So that's what the Converse logo on that one looks like. This does come with two sets of laces. So it comes with the black laces, which I think look better on the camera, and it also comes with the white. But personally on this pair, I like it with the black. It kind of gives it a nice little, it's a nice little contrast between the sneaker and the laces. Personally, I know that Golden Goose base their sneakers most of the times on classic silhouettes and classic sneakers. So Golden Goose would be based off of a Converse, for some reason, I was getting suck Golden Goose vibes with this specific pair. So that's what actually led me to really loving this pair. And that's another reason why I really, really like them because it has that Golden Goose-ish effect. So don't kill me in the comments, but that's just the vibe I was getting. Another thing to note is it has a full tonal sole. I don't know if you guys are gonna see. So it has the All-Star logo right there. It's just instead of it being in black, it's fully all white, wraps around. And then another cool little detail on the laces is it does say Carhartt Whip on the lace tip. Next pair, crack these open. 
this is such a clean pair. I love these so much. Love it. And I think I'm going to definitely, I'll show you guys and you guys can let me know in the comment section below. So they come with two color laces. They come with the brown canvas to match that brown iconic Carhartt brown canvas that's on this. And then they also comes with the classic all white Converse laces. So I did a poll on my Instagram. Pretty much everybody said leave it with the classic white, but I, I don't know, I kind of like it with the brown to give it that full tonal look. So I'm asking you guys, let me know in the comment section below, which one do you feel is better for this specific pair? I know I'm gonna leave the black laces on the camera just because I know that it looks way better, but what do you guys think? Which one looks better for the brown Carhartt? Would you go contrast with the white or would you go tonal with the brown? Drop your comments below, let me know what you guys think. Again, they just matched the Chuck Taylor logo over here, the classic Carhartt uh, colorway. Same thing, it's just a full flush white sole. They did the brown on this pair on the camera. I don't think I noted that. The bottom is black. It's a little dirty because I was outside with them. But this pair again on the tongue has the Carhartt logo right there. And I just feel like they're such a sick collab sneaker and just Converse. It's such a clean silhouette, such a clean pair. Sometimes with collaborations, they kind of go above and beyond and it just kind of ruins the sneaker in my opinion, most of the times. With this collab, I just felt it was so excellently executed that I had to have both of them. With Chuck 70s, for the most part in the lows, I take an 11. I'm a 12, but Converse do run full size. Half, some people say half size, some people say full size. I'm a size 12. In my Chuck 70 lows, I go an 11, and in the highs, I go an 11 and a half, just because I feel like with the highs, they run a little bit smaller, and I don't want this being too tight around my ankle. So I took these in an 11 and a half. With Chuck 70s, they're way more comfier than the standard Converse. The sole's a little bit thicker, but it's so cushiony and such a comfortable sneaker to wear all day. So I do always recommend Chuck 70s as opposed to standard Converse since they're so thin and they do hurt your feet after wearing them for a couple of hours. But with Chuck 70s, it's just such a super comfortable silhouette and a super comfortable sneaker that in my opinion, you just can't go wrong. All right guys, so right now I'm gonna go do two outfits. Probably gonna stay wearing this for one of the outfits just because it's super cozy. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna be wearing this Uniqlo fleece as much as I have been in the last like week or so, but for the money, I think I paid $19.99 for this at Uniqlo. It's such a good piece. I'm gonna show you guys. It's just such a comfy, cozy piece, and I love the color, so I'm probably gonna style one of these pairs with the Uniqlo fleece. Maybe not this one. I'll probably do the camera. And I'll do two outfits so you guys can see how I style them. Yeah, definitely you guys should check out the fleece if you guys need like a layering piece or just something to be comfortable and it's super affordable. So I'll link everything in the description box below. I don't believe that these are still available, but if there are any sizes left anywhere, as always, I will link them in the description box below for you guys so it's easier to find them. Let's hop into these fits and then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know in the comment section below which pair was your favorite, if you guys liked the both, which outfit was your favorite, did you like the styling, is this one of your favorite collaborations of 2021 so far? In my opinion, it's one of my favorites thus far. I think that both pairs are 
excellently executed and just very versatile sneakers in general. Uh, you can't really go wrong with a Chuck 70 Converse, especially in colorways like this. Again, if you guys are new to this channel, welcome again. My name is Ariel. I do luxury fashion content. If you enjoy content like this, definitely hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell to stay updated with all new drops that I do on the weekly basis. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, definitely check me out on Instagram for daily fit pics and reels at ariel.rosado29. See you guys in the next vlog. Later, guys.